So you talking to me? You talking to me? Yeah. Yeah, that helps. Uh, so we're here at the Barlow at Ben Kinmont's Antiquarian Bookshop. Ben is really the uh, foremost antiquarian uh, bookseller specializing in culinary books. This is an image of Grimaud de la Reniere, and Grimaud um, is famous in food history because he is literally the first restaurant critic in history. This image has always fascinated me. We don't really know if this bookcase ever really existed or whether it was just something created in the imagination of the engraver for the book. But I always told myself if I opened a public bookshop that I would create that bookcase. And so in our bookshop, we actually have the bookcase here, which has been recreated for the store. I'm an antiquarian bookseller specializing in books from the 15th century to the early 19th century about food and wine. On the wall we have framed examples of different broadsides. Almost all of them have been printed letterpress. These are different recipes which have been written by artists and that in or as artworks and in order to experience those artworks you need to eat them and therefore the exhibition space becomes your mouth. I'm in Sebastopol as a bookseller, as an artist at the moment, um, primarily because I grew up out here. My extended family was in the area, and it's an area that's very rich in food and wine, of course. You come into my shop and um, you see books on the history of coffee, and we have Taylor made across the street. My subject matter um, that I work in really is about the history of the activities that this region is known for. Food history, we have books on agriculture, almanacs, Americana, and so on, all the way up through vegetarianism, women's studies, and wine. The idea behind opening this shop was I, I really wanted to create an opportunity for the public to come by and see what a 16th century binding looks like. So this is a book which just arrived from Spain. It comes from a colleague of mine, a friend of mine named Alicia Bardon. What's extremely uh, sexy about this book for me um, is that it's the first edition of a book which went to, into, I don't know, certainly more than 50 different editions. And to find the first edition of one of these few uh, titles from an early era is really, really, really rare and unusual. Uh, the first thing I take note of when this book arrives is this is in its original 17th century, what would be called um, stiff vellum wrappers. The title of the book uh, in the 17th century has been written on the spine. The discoloration and wrinkling of the vellum, which has been made, it's a, made from means it was made from sheepskin. The other thing I always first look at is you look at the um, head cap of the spine. You want to see if there's any sign of new stitching. The edges of it have been stained red, which would be typical of the time period. Also, what's nice to note here is you've got an early um, book plate by the Duke of Almodovar. And then here's the title page. The Arte de Cocina, published in Spain in 1611. This idea of an edible historiography is something that is, I find fascinating. And this idea of recipes and representation is something that I find fascinating. You'll see here the marmalade of apricots. This is also prior to the standardization of the English language, where it was crab spelled with a double B. This is a very early and, and wonderful thing. The booksellers, the culinary historians, the librarians, the collectors, the bibliographers, we all play a different role in this world of, of rare books.